Valve's newest game may have just leaked all over the internet. And no, it's not Half-Life 3, but it seems to be a combo of Dota, Half-Life, TF2, and for some reason, Bioshock Infinite Movement. And yeah, people are pretty confused. So, Yes, most likely, if sources are to be believed, footage of Valve's newest game has leaked onto the internet. Allegedly, it's a 6v6 shooter called Deadlock that's being described as Valorant meets Overwatch, but then it's also described as a MOBA with similarities to Dota and Smite. But in order to understand why this is such a big deal, we have to go back in time a bit. Back in October 2022, Valve filed a trademark application with the US Patent and Trademark Office for something called Neon Prime. This, of course, sparked rampant speculation about what Valve's newest title would be. On X, content creator Gabe Follower showed that a former Valve developer commented it could be stemming from their unannounced FTL-like shipbuilding game. Later, on March 31st, 2023, prominent independent journalist that mostly covers Valve, Tyler McVicker, had this update on Neon Prime. Overwatch mixed with TF2, mixed with Dota 2, mixed with, I wanna say Minecraft, but that's not right. Tearaway? It's a third person, over the shoulder, team-based, class-based, uh, MOBA light, um, with a focus on the classes being their own individual personalities. Tyler also said in his stream that anything's possible, it's Valve. Hold on to that one. Tyler made a video in October later that year, giving a few new details, but reiterating a lot of what we already knew. Big map, there are trains very lore heavy and a big emphasis on mobile light. And then for a while, nothing. Not a peep, nada. Now fast forward to May 16, 2024, where our good friend Gabe Follower tweeted details of the game, including the new name, Deadlock, describing the environment and mechanics while giving users comparisons to other titles. All in all, not too different from Tyler's earlier descriptions of the game. Some things have definitely been changed, but definitely some things have remained the same from what we were told. Gabe Follower also posts what they claim to be verified screenshots of the game. Here is a clear image of one of the 19 plus playable characters, Grey Talon. It's unknown if he's part of a specific class, but it's clear he's a long range, precise aim type of character. He's got what looks to be four different abilities, though we can't discern what they actually are. The next image also shows another character with four different abilities. The HUD shows six characters on one team versus another. This screenshot shows what seems to be the general idea of the map, seeming to be so large that players should traverse it with, quote, transit lines. Now, at this point, most of the response is, this is not what we want. And just comparing the information to already released titles, including my favorite reply, which is from a brand account, Overwatch if it was cool and not bad and suck shit and it was like really horrible and stupid. Now we are back where we began this video, on May 22nd, when that alleged footage of Deadlock, formerly known as Neon Prime, appears to have leaked. From this video, we can see how those aforementioned transit lines we put to use, corroborating the validity. The general consensus is that many other Valve projects died for this. Similar footage was leaked later, where we can see multiple abilities being used with gameplay, and I believe I can spot those transit lines in the background. You know what? Who knows? Maybe by the time you're watching this, an entire match has leaked. And I completely understand understand the frustration a lot of people are feeling right now, but please allow me to put things into perspective. If this footage is real, it is footage of a game that is still in development, being tested. Of course this game is gonna look like shit. Second off, have we considered giving things a chance? You know, like not jumping to conclusions after a 40 second something video is leaked of a game that we have not gotten our hands on. For example, me, I hated a lot of Bioshock Infinite and one of those things I hated was those handrails that you use in the game. So when I see these transit rails, my first reaction is yuck. But then I realize that I actually don't know what I'm talking about because I have not gotten my hands on the game and I have no ground to stand on. But 
Getting off my soapbox, in all seriousness, we have a couple of loose ends to tie up. First off, as far as I can tell, there has been no trademark filed by Valve for Deadlock. Neon Prime's trademark application did expire though, but I did find this little social media handle on Twitter, at Play Deadlock, that was made in April, 2024, seemingly before any mention of the game's new name. And as always, I have reached out to Valve for comment, but at the time of publication, we have heard nothing back. So where do we go from here? Uh, well, we wait. Uh, it's pretty exciting footage. I'm actually genuinely pretty intrigued by it, but as I said before, I do not have my hands on it. Reports say that it's in a closed beta, so maybe we'll get our hands on it soon. And if not, if there are any more updates or leaks, I will be sure to tell you them. I want like a like a like a like a commanding position where you can like look over everything and like tell people what to do. If you're like Liz, that sounds like you want to be the head bitch in charge. Correct. You're putting two and two together. I like you. <laughs>